Hello Scorpio, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Scorpio, this is your reading for the month of July and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Scorpio, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the videos. Scorpio, there is an extended reading for this one. The link for the same is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person, Scorpio. Uh, there, is, there is one more reading that I have uploaded on Vimeo and that reading is about predictions for the months of July, August and September. Okay, it is a lengthy reading. I personally would recommend you guys to go ahead and watch that. Whatever is, if you want to know what all is covered in that reading, please visit the description box and comment section. All right. Now let's get started with this reading on YouTube. I'll shuffle the cards. I lay them down, and we'll see what is your energy, energy of the person you are thinking about, you are dealing with, or you will be dealing with. Okay. So let's get started now. Hmm. So Scorpio, we have three of swords for you. We have two of swords and we have king of pentacles for your person. We have two of cups, chariot, and we have nine of swords. You may be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You may be dealing with Cancer. I'm also hearing Taurus or Capricorn. If the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. Let me show you your spread. Okay, so this is your spread. Three of Swords, Two of Swords, and King of Pentacles. Scorpio. So the pain is reducing. Okay, you have taken a journey from Three of Swords to Two of Swords. Okay, now you... I, I believe and then we are progressing towards King of Pentacles. So what I feel is like you took your own time to heal yourself. Heal yourself from what? Heal yourself from this energy of broken heart. Heal yourself from feeling betrayed. Okay, your, uh, your soul was wounded. Absolutely. And maybe what I'm getting Scorpio is that you isolated yourself for a very long time okay that is that is your uh, coping mechanism you isolated yourself for, lo for a long time you probably you may have done things like meditation you may have joined a gym or maybe even yoga classes you did something to calm yourself down Okay, and you made some conscious efforts to calm yourself down and slowly and steadily you started coming out of this three of swords. Okay, after the pain was over, you felt a phase where you were finding yourself getting confused. Okay, and now this phase of confusion, now this phase of ambiguity is over and now you are heading in the direction of abundance. Okay, so slowly and steadily you're overcoming every single phase. Okay, a phase which was a challenge for you, you're overcoming that phase. You're overcoming the pain, then you're overcoming the confusion, and now you are heading in the direction of abundance. For some of you, you're already experiencing abundance. So when I say abundance, what I mean is a lot of stability is coming your way, emotional stability, uh, financial stability, overall stability. Okay, you are becoming more confident you are not vulnerable to negative energies you are uh, you have become in fact a strong minded person okay you have learned a lot and you have learned uh, through harsh experiences you have learned your life lessons through uh, betrayals uh, some real heartbreak okay and now what i see is like you the the pain that caused the pain that you experienced that pain was so much, okay, the pain that you experienced in the betrayal, that pain was so much that it triggered something unimaginable within you, okay, it triggered something unimaginable within you, what was that unimaginable, I believe, 
drive this what what was triggered was this insane drive to become successful to become highly highly successful in your life okay you may call it as a subtle revenge or you may call it as a strong desire to work on yourself you may call it as a strong desire to prove yourself your own worth uh, you may call it as you trying to give justice to your talent and your abilities but there is this insane drive without uh, within you okay this heartbreak or this betrayal that you experienced it triggered some insane drive to reach to the top to experience this you are about to climb the ladder of success you are about to climb the uh, the hierarchy and you want to reach the helm of the success you want to reach the uh, you want to experience the epitome of everything you want to be the best so probably you are like fuck the world fuck everyone else now i'm going to focus only on myself i'm going to i'm going to make sure that i'm the best in whatever i'm doing whatever goals you may have right now you may have some body goals you may have goals to become a uh, build up a successful business venture for yourself you may have goals to become a, a rich person within your family like a millionaire or a billionaire okay so whatever goals you have you're insanely driven by that okay in fact for for many of you i see that you have multiple goals you're working on your finances you're working on your uh, uh, you're working on on your success you're working on your popularity you're working on your body okay so what i see is like some amazing things are about to happen for you i also see that you're going to create a different world for yourself okay a world where a world which will uh a world which will entertain only positive souls and positive people a world yeah you are going to create a world for yourself i i see that you're cre you're creating something you're creating a future a big future for yourself a business or whatever i see lot of a uh, lot of uh, popularity lot of money something big you are on the verge to achieve okay and you're going to create this world and this this world will have only positive people people who will who will encourage you and people who you think are worth your time and energy okay and uh, i also see you're going to create a lot of real estate properties in the future okay you may be a real estate broker or you're planning to become a real estate broker you're going to make some insane money in that let me tell you that okay as far as your person is concerned two of cups we have chariot and nine of swords so someone is sulking in a corner thinking about you regretting how they treated you okay especially now that they are realizing that uh, they now they are realizing that uh, they messed up with the wrong person okay they are having realization that they messed up with the wrong person yes they messed up with the wrong person because now the tables are uh, the tables are turning okay now you are going to be in an exact opposite position you are rising up you are becoming insanely strong you are becoming insanely powerful and this person is feeling the energy your past person is feeling the energy that you are about to rise okay and uh, because of the fact that you are rising because of the fact that you are attracting a lot of positivity towards you you are about to attract the love of your life or you are about to attract the significant uh, other your your significant counterpart okay with two of cups two of cups signifies equal give and take two of cups is about uh, both the parties are willing to contribute in an equal manner it's not going to be like one person is a giver and other person is a taker okay one person is exhausting themselves by giving and other person is just uh, enjoying whatever is coming their way no if you are giving 100% they are also going to give 100% if they are giving 100% you are also going to give 100% so that can be emotions that can be hard work that can be uh, love and care and that can be money also okay so there is an equal give and take is what i see and i see because of this because you are going to notice that the other person also has sincere intentions towards contributing 
his sincere intentions and contributing towards this relationship you are going to be very satisfied okay you won't have this feeling that people are uh the kind of feeling you had with your previous partners that your previous partners are draining you your previous partners are uh using you no no uh some some travel may happen scorpio so travel is of some significance over here probably and you may meet this person during travel and just be yourself is is the is the advice you have to be yourself while dealing with this person i'm also getting that uh if you are into meditation if you are into yoga please continue doing that because that is helping you a lot and if you are not doing that then i would advise you to go ahead and do that because that is giving you that is settling down your emotions okay if you are feeling triggered by small small things because that is the energy i'm getting with two or two of swords and three of swords if you are getting if you are feeling that you are getting triggered by small things or unnecessary uh, irrelevant people trying to say things about you okay if you are feeling triggered by a certain situations then uh, then there there has to be you you need to become immune to such kind of energies and you can develop you can build up that immunity by doing meditation by doing yoga okay i feel yoga and meditation will help you a lot and not just in building up a healthy mind but also building up a healthy body for yourself okay yoga and meditation increases the flow of oxygen within your body it helps in circulating uh, uh you know the blood circulation happens evenly and of course it it helps you it helps you yoga especially it helps you in toning down your body to a large extent okay it also uh, sort of directs you consciously subconsciously towards a healthy diet i'm not saying that you're having junk food or you're into unhealthy diet but i'm just citing the benefits of yoga and meditation it it is mainly going to help you in the emotional ups and downs that you are experiencing in your life okay so someone is coming you have to be ready for that and uh, and i see that you are having a great future scorpio okay all right take care of yourself and have a great time ahead the link for the extended is in description box and comment section and in the extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you what is the likely conclusion between you and this person scorpio and i have also uploaded another reading on vimeo that is about the predictions for the month of july august and september it is it is quite a lengthy reading and i would advise you guys to go ahead and see that what uh, i have covered up a lot of topics in that reading like love money career self care tips and messages from the universe and etc many more things challenges and blessings so if you want to know the details just visit the description box and comment section all right take care of yourself and have a great time ahead scorpio